This is the story of a girl who made her dreams come true after she came to possess the seven stars of Suzaku, and many powers were bestowed upon her. The story itself is a spell. The one who reads it through will be given the powers and granted a wish just like the girl in the story. Because the story begins and becomes real the moment the first page is turned. Double cheeseburger! A triple scoop of chocolate mint, vanilla with raisins, and strawberry ice cream! Oh, and Omura's pork cutlet rice bowl! It looks delicious! Those and those and those! I love cheesecake and sushi, even veggies and rice! And I can eat it all! Preparing for an exam. It's not time to eat. It's time to study. You should be studying. Why aren't you studying? Study harder, Miyaka. That's right. Study. Study harder. Four times X multiplied by three times Y is. Who wrote War and Study? Study. Study. El libro está en la biblioteca. Translate that into English. Miss Yuki, are you listening? Miyaka. I want it. Miyaka, do you realize who you just hit with that desk? Would that be the teacher? Bingo! Miyaka! Yes? Take it out in the hallway now and hold that pose! Oh. El libro está en la biblioteca. ¿Acaso alguien aquí lo sabe? Are you coming? Yeah, wait up! I can't believe anyone could sleep in class while we're reviewing for exams. <laughs> they won't let you into Yotsubadai. So? I don't want to go to Yotsubadai. Oh, really? What school is your first choice? Jonan. What? what? You mean Jonan Gakin? What else could it be? Have you consulted your brain about this? <laughs> what about Yui? She wants to go there too! <laughs> well, that's a whole different story altogether. Why is it different? Yui, why? Because I'm a genius and you're stupid? Are you really my best friend? I think I am. Come on, Miyaka, come with me. Where are you going? To the National Library. That sounds like you. Okay, I admit it. You are the most intelligent student in our school, Yui Hongo. Wow! It looks so... official. Is the National Library national? Don't ignore my joke, Yui! Okay, it wasn't funny. Just a return so I won't be long. Okay, good. Hmm, I don't know why, but the fact that it's national makes me a little nervous. Oh, come on, I'm part of the nation. Oh, they even sell juices here. As if I've never seen a vending machine before, the country's full of them. Let's see. Oh!
Rebecca? <gasps> what are you doing here inside this room? A bird? Yes, I heard it. The, I mean, the flapping. Birds flapping in the National Library? Right. Huh? The Book of the Universe of the Four Gods. What is it? It looks like it's the story of ancient China, I guess. I wish we knew what it said. Thereby, the girl of legend opened the door which led to another world. Wow, <laughs> you're amazing, Yui. I never dreamed that you could read old Chinese. <gasps> there it is. This is what I saw. This is the story of a girl who made her dreams come true after she came to possess the seven stars of Suzaku and many powers were bestowed upon her. The story itself is a spell. The one who reads it through will be given the powers and granted a wish just like the girl in the story. Because the story begins and becomes real the moment the first page is turned. What does it mean? Don't ask me. How the heck should I know? Are you all right? <gasps> what is this place? Yui! <laughs> hey, does this hurt much? <laughs> yeah, hurt! Check it out! Ow! This hurts too much to be a dream. A dream without ice cream? No double cheeseburgers or triple scoops with choco mint? It's a nightmare! <laughs> All you can ever think about is eating, Miyaka! Oh! Oh no! Oh, no there's no food anywhere! Oh, Yui! What are we going to do? Uh, uh, Yui! Oh, Miyaka! Uh, this woman is something. Uh, we can sell her at top uh, price. <laughs> uh, Chinese? Are you a Chinese acrobatic troupe? Ta -da. Are you stupid? We are human slave traders! Ah! And today is our lucky day! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Stop it now. Who is he? He's got a symbol on his forehead. Oh, my arm! My arm! Oh, come oh. on. Let's get out of here! I'm right behind you. Hello there. Are you both all right? Yeah. Thank you for helping us out. Well, I prefer money to any thank yous. Huh? Oh, man. Don't tell me I rescued a couple of losers. Come on now, girls. Money makes the world go round. <laughs> Won't even pay me for my help. How rude. We didn't ask you for your help in the first place. Maybe I have some. Good luck on your own, penny pinchers. No, wait! We're lost! Tell us where we are! Huh? This... This is the same red light. Yeah. 
Yui's gone! Where'd she go? Yui! Where are you? What happened? Miyaka! The girl tried with all her might to rescue her friend from slave traders, but she was overpowered and all seemed lost when a boy with the symbol of the ogre on his forehead appeared and helped them out. Ogre symbol on his forehead? Impossible! That's exactly what happened to us! But wasn't that just a dream? And so, the girl left for the city on the back of a wagon to look for her friend and the boy. Stop staring! Weirdos! Oh, never mind them. That cute guy, though, he helped us, but then he kidnapped Yui! It's criminal! It's unforgivable! Hmm... Where am I anyway? It looks like ancient China, like in the book. <gasps> Could it be? I I am I in that book? <gasps> Beautiful! Like a painting or a film set. It's extraordinary. With a city full of people, I'm sure I can find him here. Oh, that's him! Gotcha! Thanks again for the ride! Huh? Who was that? Sorry, let me through, please. that tongue of yours in your mouth. Maybe you can help me. Have you seen a good-looking guy with an ogre symbol on his forehead? Ogre symbol? No. But you can call me good-looking if you want to. <laughs> Don't think so. Hey, you little thief! This isn't money! But it is money! Japanese coins from the 20th century! <laughs> oh, excuse me, please. Do you know a guy with an ogre symbol on his forehead? The ogre symbol on his forehead? Doesn't anybody know? <sighs> I'm exhausted. Yui, where are you? Excuse me, huh? miss. Huh? I couldn't help watching you. And since I'm on my own here too, I was wondering if I could show you around the Conan Empire. Conan Empire? Yeah. So that's what this place is called, the Conan Empire. Oh, is he asking me for a date? <gasps> oh, I think he really must be. I've never had a boyfriend before in all my 15 years. Have I finally made myself into the woman of all men's dreams? I'll play it cool like the popular girls, and I won't answer him right away. I don't want him to think I'm easy, so I'll keep him guessing, and that way Hello? he's sure to want me. I'd love to, but I can't. I'm looking for someone, actually. Oh, I see. Wait a minute. You mean the guy with the ogre symbol. Oh, 
do you really know him? The guy's a friend of mine, as a matter of fact. Really? Do you want to meet him? Oh, yes, I do! Have you heard? Heard what? They say a young girl in strange clothing has been hanging around town and no one knows what to make of it. Oh, yeah, I heard about her. She's the one looking for a guy with some kind of symbol on his forehead, right? They say she paid for some food with foreign currency and then ran away. A young foreign girl here all alone. Where did she come from? Uh, you had soup and rice, sir. Here you go. And here's your sir. Excuse me, huh? but can I ask you something? Yeah? What? Was the girl you were talking about with someone else? Well, I don't know all the details, but I heard she was alone when she stole food. Alone, huh? I guess she's not one of the girls that I met earlier. Excuse me. How much longer before I meet your friend? We're here. Well, 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 look huh? what he brought us this time. Something a little different, too. Different, isn't she? Her clothes alone will bring a good price. Is it true that women traveling alone are looking for excitement? You tricked me, didn't you? It's your own fault. You shouldn't have followed him. Oh, back off! Oh. I think she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable to find punks in old China. And I fell for it. Wait a minute. I'm in ancient China now, and that means no teachers or bad behavior reports, so I can't get to merits here. All right. Listen up, you sleazebags, because this vaccination mark has been watching you and your transgressions. And even though the sun may decide to forgive you, I, Miyaka Yuki, will not. I will punish you in the name of heaven and demonstrate on you thugs the fatal blow I saw on the pay-per-view satellite program three days ago. Oh, yeah, the female professional wrestling challenge. Attack mode. Miyaka <laughs> What the hell is she? I've never seen martial arts like this! Stop! Oh, that's wrong! Oh. Cash Mountain! 95! I'm not bad. <laughs> if I tried, maybe I could compete. You're gonna get it now. Four men? To handle one girl? Come on. Let's make the odds more even. When the girl was in imminent danger, the boy with the ogre symbol on his forehead appeared on the scene and defeated all the villains. <laughs>
the Lady Miyaka finally finds the young man with the ogre symbol on his forehead. She demands to know about her friend Yui, when suddenly magic and danger descend upon them and they are captured by the Emperor's guards. Within the boy's arms, as he rescues her for a third time, Lady Miyaka radiates a powerful, mysterious red light. Next time, the Priestess of Suzaku, the legend is revived.